Um, hi, everyone. I'm Bonnie Chu um, from Humanity Data Systems. Um, also a life-saving information innovation. Not sure what happened there, but uh, here we go. Um, so around a year ago, um, I was looking through all these images on my laptop. These are photographs taken by illiterate women in some of the world's most challenging places. They came from my previous startup, um, which, was, which is training marginalized women and girls photography and storytelling. And from these photographs, from their eyes, these women's eyes, you see really their hopes and dreams and what they need. And at that point, I also started seeing patterns emerging from these photographs. They are actually visual data. They are analytical representation of these women's unique realities and perspectives. So I thought, could these perspectives actually be used to inform decision making on a global level? And I think about what we are doing now in humanitarian aid. Currently, 45% of beneficiaries across seven conflict zones surveyed think that humanitarian aid is reaching the most in need. Only 45%. But on the contrary, 90% of aid workers, maybe some of you here today, think that aid is actually reaching the most in need. So why is there a discrepancy? And why do we continue to let this discrepancy exist? One of the reasons is that there's not a feedback loop uh, between vulnerable populations and aid workers. So what I'm offering here today and at our company, Humanity Data Systems, is to put those feedback loops back in again and to really bring real-time information from the ground up and even though these data are messy and complex, using um, artificial intelligence and data analytics so that we really make sense of what these data and voices are telling us about humanitarian aid decision making. How could this look like? We're very early stage, so I'm really here to share our vision with you. Uh, let's take the example of Bangladesh in Kosas Bazaar, somewhere I've worked before. Um, currently, aid agencies are already using satellite imagery to analyze information and understand needs. So, for example, from a satellite image, you can already see how big the area is, the number of beneficiaries, the, sta the standards of architecture currently available. But what if, as an aid worker, you can actually zoom into a location and you could see in real time the photos and videos coming from the beneficiaries that are already automatically tagged and analyzed so that you know what already exists and what are the needs that you haven't even thought about, what are the risks that you haven't even anticipated, whether it's floods or maybe there are water pumps that already exist so you don't need to bring them in anymore. So this is really providing this real and comprehensive picture for humanitarian aid workers to be better planning for aid delivery. Um, we're at a very early stage, so we're really here to learn and support uh, working with local agencies to be collecting data and tracking aid delivery. But to end, I would like to um, share this photo with you from a lady in Bhutan taking a photo of her daughter showing these really beautiful words engraved on the stone. Living for others is the rule of nature. I think we in the, as the humanitarian aid community believe in that and that's why we're here today. But we're not doing enough for the people we seek to serve and so let's create this community and this world where our beneficiaries are not just listened to but they are equal partners in creating and co-creating solutions with us. Thank you. <laughs>